Hi guys, me again. Just another quick postural tip this time. Um, I see a lot of people, you know, in terms of reach, bike fitters get really caught up in kind of where reach from the bars, coming down from here, resting onto the onto the hoods, making sure your reach is right. That is very important. So I've seen some people that even when the bike fitters trying to demonstrate it, they're kind of coming down, and they're still lazy through the core, rounded spine. So one thing while you're out riding, just settle into the hoods. And the only way I've been able to explain it to people is I imagine there's a little gremlin on the zip of my jersey or tugging on my heart rate monitor, sort of buckle in the middle. And it's just encouraging me to come from that sort of slouch position, bringing it forward, through, getting my shoulders I'm away from my ears, it smooths out the curve of your spine, so any excessive rounding through your thoracic spine, which is then compensated for when you look up that kind of hinge, opening the tune up, leaving a big gap here, when you're extended through your thoracic spine, that little bit more, smooths the curve out into your cervical spine and your neck, and brings you across the bike a lot more. So that takes out the need for protracting your shoulders, okay, overly engaging your triceps. Which yes, it's all good to work on strengthening your triceps and strengthening your shoulders. But ultimately, when your body's helping you get across the bike and it's switched on, it's doing two thirds of the work for you. So just that, give it a name if you like. Mine's called Clive. He, uh, he just pulls on the pulls on my butt heart rate strap and reassures, tells me he's gone back here, bring it forward. It also really helps let your diaphragm relax, open up, makes the breathing that much better. So it takes a bit of convincing for a while, but you get there in the end. Okay, guys, take care. All the best.